mean, I'm, you know, I'm producing a record right now. I go from here to a studio. I just came off a 15-month world tour and made my album in the middle of that and did an art But show. see, I think a lot of people who've not <laughs> yeah. been that, oh yeah, your disease, disease, disease right, is what it's called? Uh, yeah, I I am saying a, that right? I'm definitely a workaholic, but also it, it's, uh, it's the antithesis of how I used to live. So... Um, it's not a, it's not an easy road, but I love the road. But I'm I think on. a lot of people, Billy, who want to be rock stars, are like, man, we be on the road, they booze and drugs and shits. And it's like, well, there yeah. is that, uh, yeah. there yeah. is that, but it's hard work too, right? It's yeah. fifteen months of being away, and you know. Heidi, that doesn't exist anymore. You want a career in the rock and roll business, you better work hard, be eloquent, be uh, personable. Right. Well, I'm get, out. Get up. Yeah. <laughs> so, Frank, no see you later. Mark that off my bucket list. That's not happening. <laughs> uh, you just uh, you're going to release your second solo album. It's out uh, next Friday, on October 23rd. iTunes.com, Amazon.com. Called God Shaped Hole. Yeah, it's actually there's a limited edition art pack. One of the things I really wanted to do because I've got a fine art career now is marry art and music. And so what I did, one of the songs, obviously uh, most people know, Ozzy sang on the record is called uh, Gods, and he inspired a piece of artwork. I painted it on canvas. It became the cover. And obviously, you know, I sell my canvases if your checkbook's big enough. But, <laughs> but uh, I created this art pack where there's a li there's only 200 CDs. Ozzy is a recording artist for a label, which means you can't just throw CDs in the stores. But they very kindly let me do 200 CDs, and I printed 200 fine art prints, and I'm selling those. That's together, cool. well, you know, sign pictures, some pics, and some handwritten lyrics. Don't yeah. ever suggest that you do handwritten lyrics. Oh. Have you ever written two? It's like being at school. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like doing your penmanship test. Yeah. yeah. Really? So they're, they're, they're available now. You can find them. Just Google me and you'll find it. And then the actual download album comes out next, next Friday. And who else helped you out with the album? You know, Navarro and Steve Stevens. I didn't want to do the whole, uh, you know, my ro obviously with the bands I'm in, my Rolodex is okay. But I didn't want to do this star-studded album. Steve, uh, Steve Stevens, who I play with in Billy Idol, I needed someone to play the solo on Ozzy's song. I, you know, I can kind of hack through a oh, lead please, guitar. Billy, no, stop I'm, it with that. I'm not. I'm not. Stop I it. Am Steve no, Stevens, I'm no Steve Stevens, and and I wanted to pay Ozzy the 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 respect of having a world class guitar player on that track. So, me and Steve and Ozzy have written songs before. So I called Steve. He did it, and then I thought, well, I need Navarro because they're my two boys. You know, Royal Machines with Navarro and Billy Idol with Steve Stevens. So I, really, it's just my mates. I know they're very famous people, but they're my, <laughs> they're my you, mates. They're just your yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so let's uh, get right to it. This is uh, Stay or Go, and the band that wants to pursue their dreams like you have, uh, it's, it's Ernie D. is a Southern California-based singer-songwriter delivering positive lyrics with upbeat instrumental, mixing various elements of acoustic and electric guitars, pianos, futuristic synthesizers. What is that? <laughs> a futuristic synthesizer. And, a, and popular radio-ready hooks. All right, this is what, he knows what he needs. All right. With uh, <laughs> musical influences from hip-hop, rock, reggae, and pop, and he has created a, and captured his own style of feel-good music. I okay. can't. Ernie D is his name, and he's on the phone with us. Hello, Ernie D. Say hello to Billy Morrison. Billy Morrison's here for you. How are you, Ernie? <laughs> Thank you, Ernie. Uh, how long have you been doing the music thing? Now, I see on the cover here it says parental advisory. Yeah, I was, uh, I was just going to comment on that. I was going to say, Ernie, you need someone else to write your little blurb, but you, the, the aesthetically, <laughs> I'm already in because the image of... You're, you're easy on the eyes, aren't you? Oh. A good-looking young man right there. And uh, I like the font, and I love the parental advisory sticker. I will always pay attention. <laughs> it, right. Actually, that sells more records than yeah. it. You know what I mean? So you should just call your album "Parental Advisory." Oh yeah. <laughs> and just do that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. So you know how this works, Ernie D. Uh, you sent us two songs, and now it's up to you to pick out which song you want to start with. And it's very important because. When the audience hears that first song, they will call in and vote stay or go. And if they say go, we will never hear that second song. But if they say stay, we, we will, in fact, hear that second tune of yours. So what song would you like to start out with? All right. 
right. Uh, 1-800-955-KLOS is the number. Ernie D is his name. 1-800-955. What? I'm being told we don't have that song. Wait a minute. What? Ernie D did not send us you sunshine. Didn't, you didn't oh, send us Ernie, that song? Come on, son. Oh, what, song, what songs do we have? What uh, feel-good music we do we have? let Ernie know what music he sent us. All right, um, let's go. Is this now? This is not the song that he wanted to play. So, well, he did send. Well, did he? You know what's great is he not sounds easy. just as confident about Dreamer. <laughs> He's like, okay, fine, fine, what, whatever, <laughs> fine, play, play Dreamer. That, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. all good. <laughs> all right. All right. Like it. So here he is, Ernie D. 